My name is Brenda van Kopenhollen. I am a political scientist and I just joined Sciences Po and the Center for European Studies and Comparative Politics as a senior research fellow. Previously, I was an assistant professor of political science at the University of Essex in the UK and at Leiden University in the Netherlands. And before that, I obtained my PhD from the LSE, the London School of Economics and Political Science in London, uh, during which I was also a visitor at New York University. I was also a postdoctoral fellow of quantitative methodology in LSE. My PhD research was on political dynasties or families in politics and elections. Many people think that uh, relatives in politics are not uh, much more than a fascinating curiosity, but I think that political dynasties can still serve as an important measure of uh, political inequality at the top level. And as a result of studying the inequalities that elections can uh, break or engender and reproduce, I also started to get interested in alternative selection mechanisms. And one such mechanism is lottery, or random selection. In recent years, random selection has been used to draw citizens into assemblies to discuss urgent issues such as climate change. Here in France, you had, for example, la Convention citoyenne pour le climat. Well, in the 19th century, lotteries were used within elected parliaments to review legislation um, or to uh, draft constitutional um, documents as well as to select decision makers. But such procedures have never before been studied in detail or in comparative perspective. So in the next few years, I will be leading a research project supported by a starting grant from the European Research Council. And I will be studying examples of the use of such lotteries in parliaments when democracies were just emerging in Europe. I want to understand how the use of alternative selection mechanisms can contribute to opening up the political system to newcomers and whether it can contribute to decreasing inequalities over time. And just as important is the question of whether lotteries can do so again today. I chose to join the Center of European Studies and Comparative Politics because it's a naturally suitable environment to this research project. And the project finds a great home here among many experts in parliamentary politics and legislative studies, uh, quantitative and qualitative research methods, experiments, political parties and elections. Sciences Po brings together many experts in different disciplines such as politics, economics, history, law and sociology. The research I will be doing involves learning from European history to apply innovations today, and it's quantitative in nature, but it needs to be very sensitive to qualitative interpretations of the context and the politics at the time. And therefore, this research will really benefit from the richness of insights and knowledge available at this world-leading university. I'm looking forward to engaging with colleagues and students interested in these topics of how selection and conversation can affect democratic decision-making processes and political outcomes, both in the past and today. <laughs>